1.9, also known as the Combat Update, is known for sparking a lot of controversy. As well as adding more end content, dual wielding, shields, tipped arrows and igloos, 1.9 introduced a cooldown system for weapons, where a player would deal significantly less damage if they spam click. The reason this particular feature generated so much backlash from the PvP community was because all the different strategies that have been developed were completely upset by this one little addition. Since then, the debate has only gotten more heated. Pre-1.9 PvPers are being accused of being resistant to change or reliant on mindless spamming. Post-1.9 PvPers are told that they're playing on a dumbed down or boring version of the game. Arguments devolving into childish insult throwing contests are part of the reason why this battle has gone on for so long. However, Mojang is trying to do something about it. At the latest Creator Summit, an event where developers and content creators alike go to discuss Minecraft, DocM77 released this tweet, stating that Mojang is looking to improve combat sometime after 1.14. Fixing this problem is very important. With the rise of PvP servers, many people who play Minecraft see combat as the most important facet of the game. Currently, there are two different styles of combat, with each having a devout following, and we now have to combine them in a way that will make the most amount of people happy. The most popular solution is to add a game rule to enable or disable the cooldown, but this will ultimately widen the gap in an already split player base, and here's why. Suggesting that a game rule would fix everything is oversimplifying the problem, and that's because the community isn't directly split into pre 1.9ers and post 1.9ers. Some people like the shield, some people only want to remove the cooldown from the sword, others want to remove it from all tools. Some people enjoy the new fishing rod physics, sounds obscure unless you know that they're pretty important in PvP games. It gets to the point where you'd need a dozen different game rules to cater to everyone's interests. Not only is that convoluted, but it would be extremely confusing to new players. As Mojang staff has stated before, adding a game rule is bad design. Even if the entire debacle of combat could be solved by allowing cooldown to be disabled, Game rules are not intended to change the behaviour of something as fundamental as combat. They are reserved for map making or experimenting, such as increasing the random tick speed or halting the daylight cycle. Furthermore, if Mojang does add a game rule, wouldn't this tell the community that making noise about any new feature could make it optional? Something we take for granted today is the hunger bar, but that was controversial when it came out. Just imagine how confusing eating of all things would be with two different health systems. Currently, servers allow pre-1.9 combat by having their servers on 1.8 and hacking the protocol to allow later versions. This means any features added after 1.8 aren't used. Some people claim that adding the game rule would allow servers to update to the latest version and simply turn off the cooldown. My previous points aside, I presume that the reason people want this added is to gain an official way to disable cooldown. And what's the difference between it being official or third party? The difference is that Mojang will be expected to support this feature for future updates, and henceforth consider two different systems when adding any sort of combat related content like mobs, weapons or even potion effects. Two different systems means twice the balancing and many more bugs to fix. Updates would take even longer to come out, which would be terrible, especially considering the length of time we've had to wait for Update Aquatic, which is totally understandable given how much quality content it adds. At the end of the day, we need to remember that Minecraft is a game for everyone. If combat is to be fixed, it must be fixed with all players in mind, not just PvPers. And what we want is a combat system that will be interesting, regardless of whether we're on single player or multiplayer. We need to focus on fixing the combat system in an intuitive and elegant way. Speaking of which, that's exactly what I'm covering in a follow-up video, so subscribe and hit the bell if you want to watch that once uploaded. In the meantime, you're more than welcome to share your thoughts on the issue by joining our subreddit r slash minecraft abnorls and our discord server. If your opinions are insightful enough, they may even make it into the follow up video. Even if you don't care about combat and you just clicked on this video for the drama and hopefully were sorely disappointed, feel free to join our community anyway, links are in the description. Anyway, thanks for watching this abnormal video essay and remember to like if you enjoyed it. If you wish, you can watch our previous videos. So far we have one explaining why the drowned was added instead of a shark, and another speculating about how we could circumvent problems the implementation of sharks could pose.